Hey guys, it's Michael Cheek again. This is the second video for You Were Meant For Me by Jewel. And uh, we're going to be finishing up the verse in this video and completing the entire chorus too. Now we, we might have a couple extra things left for a third video. I think there's a bridge that I'll have to teach you. And uh, maybe a couple of small things that are in there too. Just uh, things to make it sound like the actual recording. <clears throat> so. Um, what you've already learned in the first video was one of the chord progressions for the verse. And that one goes like this. If you watched the first video, you remember we learned it like this. Okay, now that was the first uh, chord progression. The second chord progression to the verse is almost exactly the same, but we take out the last chord and put in a different one. Now, the last chord that we played already was the E minor. But when you go through um, that first chord progression and then start the second one, um, everything's the same, but we take out that E minor and put in a D chord. And we kind of alternate between those two chords. So it's going to be um, basically you, everything's the same except at the end of each chord progression, you're either going to be playing an E minor or a D. The D is the one that comes second, so it's also going to be the one that you're always playing when you're about to go into the chorus, okay? So if you're um, playing along with the song and you hear her play that chord, that kind of cues you in, you're about to do the chorus, um, if you've already gone through the chord progression a couple of times. So, uh, without delaying further, let's go ahead and get started. Now, uh, let's pretend we already played the first chord progression and we ended on that E minor, okay? Now. We're going to start the second chord progression. It's just like the first, so you're going to play that first chord again. And I'm not going to elaborate on it because you can watch the first video and uh, get these first three chords down from that because the picking patterns are exactly the same. So uh, go back to that first video if you're lost and you don't know what chords I'm talking about. Uh, so let's play that first chord. Okay, now the second chord. chord, which was that C. Now, here's where it changes. Instead of going to the E minor, we're going to go to a D major. Okay? Now, what that is, is your middle finger is going to go in the second fret of this skinny E string. The third finger is going to go in the third fret of the B string, playing that note. And your first finger is going to play the second fret of the G string, playing that note. Now, those are the fingers you hold down. On a D chord, you can also have open on the D string. And if you want, you can have open on the A string. But here, we're just going to play these skinniest four strings. Okay? Now, the picking pattern here is going to sound like this. And what that is, is thumb on the D string first, then middle finger on the B string, then first finger on the G string, then third finger on the skinny E string, and then middle finger again on the B string. Okay? One, two, three, four, five notes. Okay? Now, um, basically, that's it. So, uh, you're going to play those back and forth. So, for instance, if you're just playing the song, it's going to sound something like this. second one. And then you repeat. Oh. Going into that uh, chord progression again. Now, if it's time to go in the chorus, you'd be playing that D. And then we're going to switch to a, a regular C chord there. Now, um, the chorus uses pretty much the same chords with a little bit of variation. And um, we're going to start that right now. So that was the verse. Now we're going to start the chorus. What I'd like to do is just kind of strum along with the chorus. And I'm going to play this video of uh, Joel, one of Joel's live performances. This is actually a little slower than you would normally hear the song. She slowed it down for this live performance. But the thing about this performance is she's actually in standard tuning. On the recording that I have, she's slightly sharp, I believe, sharp or flat, I can't remember, but it's not exactly um, 
440 standard pitch. So um, I'm going to play along with it, and then we'll go into the um, details of how to play it. But just so you know, it's a chord progression using C, then D, then G, then G with an F-sharp pedal. If you don't know what that is, I'll explain that in a second. Then E minor. Then you repeat all those and end it with C, D, and E minor. Okay, so let me play along with it, and uh, let me adjust this volume so it's not too loud for you. Okay, I'm going to strum softly so my acoustic here is not too loud. And uh, here we go. Here's the chorus to the song. Okay, again, that's C, D, G, G, F sharp, D e minor, C, D. Now, that was the chorus. Um, you can see the chords that it uses. Um, just a quick uh, note, if you don't know how to play the C, the D, the normal G, or the E minor, you can go to the general lessons category on the website. Uh, just click on general lessons and look up the lessons that are labeled um, open position major chords and open position minor chords. Those will both, or those will all be in there. C, D, G, and E minor. Now I do have to point out the G with an F sharp pedal. What that is is basically a G, but instead of having this G on bottom, like you normally would, they put an F sharp on bottom, which is one note lower. Okay? So um, the way you're going to do that is basically uh, have a regular G down. I like to have this B string in the third fret too. Uh, just because I like the way that sounds, but you can have the open on the B string if you like that one. And uh, put your first finger on the second fret of the thick E string. Okay? And then I just mute the A string. So it's second fret on the thick E string, uh, muted on the A string, open on the D, the G, third fret on the B, and the E. Okay? And a quick note, just in case you're fuzzy on those chords, this is the C chord. This is the D chord, and uh, this is the E minor chord, which you should be okay on if you play the other video. Now, uh, let's go ahead and get started on it. We're going to start with the C chord. I just kind of do a rhythm like that. Then a D. Now, the G and then the G sharp, uh, G F sharp pedal go kind of fast. You're really just staying on the G, but you're changing bass notes is what it is. And it's going to sound like this. So you kind of accent that bass note at the beginning, and that makes it come out more. So you, by accenting, I mean kind of hit it a little harder and don't hit the rest of the chord. So when you go to the G, you're going to go and then hit the whole chord and then change to a G with an F sharp pedal. Hit that bass note again and then hit the whole chord and then go to your E minor. Okay, so it's going to sound like this. Okay? Now, uh, again, that's played um, two times in a row. So one more time, uh, you're going to go Again, C, D, G, G, F sharp pedal, E minor. And then we're going to end on C, D, and then I just like to strum one time on the E minor chord. And uh, basically, what happens after that, you start the, the uh, verse over again. Okay? So, what I'd like to do. To help you out is just rewind a little bit. I don't know if I'm in the right spot or not. I'm using a YouTube video here, so this uh, you guys know how hard it is to rewind these things in the exact spot that you want. So uh, let me try to play the chorus along with the song real quick. You can see how it fits together. So let's see if we're in the right spot. Okay, we're on the verse right here. Here we go. Here's the chorus.
that's the chorus um, of the song. What um, I'll probably do is make a third video to wrap up the song, but um, what I would suggest is getting these parts down pretty good, and then go into that third video. You know, watch the first and second uh, videos, and then get those parts down. Then go to the third video where I think I'll have a bridge, I think, and uh, a few little details that'll help your final sound on this song. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's a good little song to play for finger picking if you don't have a lot of experience with that. So um, I hope you enjoy it.